Now let's talk about the fragrance uh, that I ordered from Guerlain. This is called, I think, Charms, Charms Elysis. <laughs> I'm really not sure how to pronounce it, but this is a very classic fragrance. I uh, think it was created in 1904. But if I'm not mistaken, it was launched to the market in the year 1996. That's when I got it as a gift in 1996. <laughs> since then, um, since then, I'm loving this fragrance and I usually buy it for like as a keepsake. I really like the fragrance, but I don't wear it every day since I have other fragrance that I like more <laughs> but this fragrance is more like a keepsake for me and i want to keep having it in my collection i have purchased this fragrance two times the first time when i received it as a gift i moved here to the usa and i left it in my country and i lost it <laughs> and i have purchased this in the united states two times but i bought the previous uh, formulation the classic one this is a new formulation and i am sure the formula is this is different it probably doesn't smell that strong like in 1996 this fragrance was very strong and i only needed to apply it or spray it once or twice and i could smell it the entire day and it was the first fragrance that started my uh, fragrance journey. Uh, for years, this was uh, my signature scent, my only perfume. <laughs> but now I have more and I like to keep this fragrance to smell it and bring me memories from my when I was young, <laughs> from my teenage year. So let's open it and smell it because I haven't smelled this uh, new formula yet. So let's open it. And like I mentioned before, this fragrance was launched in 1996. And the perfumer is called, I think, Jax or Jackies Guerlain. And I'm going to tell you the notes in a little bit. Let's see the bottle first. Uh, yeah, it's different. Oh, wow. <laughs> this new bottle is different. It has the uh, a heart, like inverted heart uh, in the cup. And also the bottle is kind of a square. Um, these bottles are um, like the other ones that are called the Petit the Noir Petit. The Rob Noir Petit, something like that. I have one of those fragrances. I like it, but it's not my favorite. <laughs> the Petit Rob Noir, something like that. It smells a little similar to the original. Well, this is supposed to be the same. Now it's under the collection Less Legendary. So I think that's how we call it. And I think all of the classic fragrances for Guerlain are on that collection, Les Legendary's collection. And I think they are new formulations. Uh, from the classic collection, I only have this one and oh, yeah, I forgot the name. I'm gonna leave it for you here. <laughs> uh, one of the most uh, popular ones from the uh, classic collection Legendary's. But this one is the one I keep purchasing, but um, I really was looking for the classic bottle, but I couldn't find it uh, because that is already um, discontinued. And this is the new formula and the new bottle. And let me spray it in a test sleep because I don't want to apply it on my skin yet because I'm going to smell the other tester that they sent me. Well, it has some resemblance to the original and it does smell really good. I really like it. 
but it is a little bit different than the original, the classic one. Um, I really would like to uh, have the original and this one, at least this one in the classic bottle. I like this bottle, but uh, this is like a new, completely new fragrance for me. And it does remind me of my uh, original one, like I said, but it does smell a little bit different, you know. Sometimes they have to replace the ingredients because if this was launched to the market in 1996 and we are in 2023 right now, <laughs> a lot of the ingredients have changed. Now they use more synthetic ingredients than natural ingredients and the fra fragrances are not as potent as they used to be. So this fragrance smells really good and it does uh, resemble the original, but it has a little bit, uh, it has some differences. I cannot tell you exactly the difference uh, from the new formulation to the original. I only perceive it in my mind because I really know how the classic smells like. I can say probably uh, 85% the same as the classic formulation from 1996. And I like it. I'm going to keep it because that's the only way um, I can find this. <laughs> if I find a classic bottle, then I probably will buy it in the future. Mm. I really like this fragrance. And uh, if you like classic fragrances from this brand, from Guerlain, uh, you should try this one. Uh, this uh, Chant Elysis. It smells classic, it smells good, it smells fresh. And this new formula is probably more modern. And I'm glad I have it. This is very fresh. It's perfect for spring and summer. Maybe not much for uh, fall and winter, but it's perfect for spring and summer. It, it smells like the original, but it's uh, in a new formulation and in a modern way. But I'm, I'm happy I, I'm, I had this fragrance in my collection again. Let me tell you the notes on this fragrance before I finish this review of first impression. Um, this fragrance was created by uh, Jacques Guerlain and John Paul Guerlain. This fragrance is, wow, it's very complex. <laughs> it has a lot, a lot of notes uh, and it's very fresh, like I mentioned before. I really like it. It reminds me of my youthful years, <laughs> my teenage years. Well, and that's it for this. I'm going to spray the uh, the three samples I received. I'm going to leave you the links of these products down in the description section uh, for you to explore more about the legendaries and these Chums, Chums, Elises, fragrance. Uh, this is an other perfume. Now let's smell the samples that they sent me. The first one we're going to smell is the Spiritus Dobo Vanille. Oh, I spray it on my hand. Oh, wow. It's Spiritus, Spiritus Dobo Vanille. It smells a lot like vanilla but in a very elegant, elegant way. <laughs> I like it. The next one we're going to smell is this queer beluga. Queer, qu queer, queer, queer beluga. Queer, queer beluga. Again, I spray it on my hand. I don't want to spray that much because, well, now I'm going to smell my hand. Oh, wow, it smells good. It doesn't smell like, like, wet or like, it doesn't smell like 
leather, like pure leather. It smells like it smells like sweet. This fragrance is really good. It's sweet and, and soft, more like suede. A very soft and sweet leather fragrance. Mm, I like it. Now let's smell this Neroli Neroli Outre Noir. Neroli Outre Noir. Oh my God. I don't know if I will be able to smell it because the first two I sprayed on my hand by accident. Oh, <laughs> finally I sprayed it on the paper. Oh wow, this Neroli is very fresh. Uh, it went through my, to my, it went inside my nose to my throat. I can taste it now. No, this is not for me. It's a beautiful fragrance, but I really don't like citrus fragrances that much. This this one smells like lemon. Like limes, lime, the green lemons, yes. This one, I think it links a little masculine. It's like a uh, mask or maybe unisex leaning to masculine citrus fragrance. Well, I'm very happy with my, my uh, products today and I'm happy with what I tested. <laughs> Until now, the uh, foundation doesn't uh, uh, hasn't dry my skin, so I'm very happy. I'm going to go ahead and finish my makeup, and I will see you on my next video. Bye.